Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Muhammad Salah has done a photo shoot for Middle Eastern GQ magazine with a woman inappropriately dressed hugging him whilst he's smiling. And seeing as I've done quite a few videos praising him, I got quite a few requests to react to this picture and to do a video on it. So seeing as I have and he is a public figure, I thought I would. But following the Islamic principle which is if you hear of somebody doing something, you make excuses for them. You don't just jump the gun and start attacking them left, right and center. So I did just that. I thought maybe she's his wife. Turns out she's not. She's a quite popular Brazilian supermodel. Then I thought maybe it was done against his will. You know how it works with you know when you're a celebrity or whatever. So I managed to check the behind the scenes and it clearly wasn't. In fact the behind the scenes revealed more dodgy content and the behind the scenes was put on his actual social media as well. Which brings me on to the next point because I thought there must be another reason for this because it's just out of character for him and it doesn't make sense. So I tried to search other websites and even went on his own social media. He seemed to be quite actively promoting not only the pictures but the behind the scenes as well. So it seems like something that he has done consciously. <laughs> In Islam, as we know, to do this is haram. Yeah, it goes without saying, there's no doubt about it. Behaving like this with another woman is wrong. Whether I'm doing it, Muhammad Salah is doing it, it doesn't change the law of Allah. Simple as that. What do we learn from this? Number one, what we learn is there's a reason why 17 times a day we recite asking Allah to guide us to the straight path because we're all prone to being misguided. No one is immune from this. Number two, be around good company, people that are God conscious and humble. If you're around people that are constantly chasing after money, constantly trying to you know, increase themselves in their fame, eventually that sort of stuff can enter your heart. It's like going into a perfume shop. Even if you don't apply the perfume, you're gonna come out smelling of perfume. But if you hang around smokers, even if you're not smoking, when you leave their gathering, you're gonna end up smelling of smoke. So your friends and your gatherings, who you subscribe to on social media, who comes up on your feed, Guys, all of this counts as company. Be very cautious which movies you watch, what you listen to. All of that is also part of your diet as well. Number three, it's a reminder to have role models that have passed away because all of their life is there for us to see. Whilst if you have a role model that's alive, they can flip at any time and them flipping could flip you and you might end up flipping off. Obviously guys, we don't know what's going on with Muhammad Salah and his family. No wife likes to see her husband like that. So we pray for Muhammad Salah, his wife, his family, whatever they're going through, may Allah grant him the ability to overcome his obstacles. And inshallah, he sees the error of his ways and he realizes that the only path to true success and honor is following the law of Allah as shown by the Prophet All the other paths lead to a dead end. And I have every faith that Muhammad Salah will be back to inspiring us both on and off the pitch. Because with celebrities guys, it's difficult. You know, when you 
when you do amazing stuff, it's in front of everybody. But likewise, when you mess up, then that's also in front of everybody. At times like this, some of us are very quick to attacking. But at this time, realize that our brothers and sisters need us the most. What do you do when someone's tripping over? What do you do? Kick them down. Or when they're on the floor, you start, you know, poking, prodding and kicking them further. No, yeah, you give them your hand and you help them up. It goes without saying that we have to condemn the act. Yeah, of course. But don't condemn the person. Yeah, separate the act from the person. Inshallah, you guys have benefited from this small reminder. And let's leave it there. Until next time, guys. Assalamu alaikum.